All right, so we're going to have a look at what is trigonometry. Trigonometry, when we look at our words sine, cos, and tan, they are ratios. Not ration. They are ratios. That's how it works. So the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, the tangent ratio, uh, what happened way back when was people were starting to draw triangles and measure the angles and measure the sides. And what they did, for instance, if they started with 30 degree triangles. Now, they drew a whole heap of 30 degree triangles all right, and then started measuring the sides. So, for instance, I've got a little triangle there that's 30 degrees there. I've got a bigger one there, and I've got... That wasn't a straight line. I've got an even bigger one there, and that's 30 degrees. And what they worked out was, say that's 2, that's 4. Say that's 8, and that was 16. And say that's 20, that one was inevitably 40. So when they started drawing all of these triangles that were the same angles, so that means that they are similar triangles. When they were drawing their similar triangles, what they worked out that when they compared the sides, they always got the same ratio. So for every triangle that's 30 degrees here, they went, well, if I get that side and divide it by that side, 2 divided by 4 was a half. That side and divide it by that side, 8 divided by 16 is a half. That side divided by that side, 20 divided by 40 is a, is a half. So after time, they worked out and they went through and worked out all of those. So no matter how big the triangle was, if the angle there was 30 degrees, then the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse always ended up at 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.5 is the ratio. So 0 0.5 is your sine ratio for 30 degrees. So you can test that. If you, in your calculator, if you went sine 30, enter, you got 0 0.5. So what it means is that every triangle that I draw with 30 degrees, the opposite divided by the hypotenuse is going to give me 0 0.5. So when they worked that out, they went and drew, drew a whole heap of triangles. So let's start with one degree. And so first, so they went off and they drew, drew a whole heap, ooh, I don't know what that button does, drew a whole heap of triangles at just one degree there. So all different sizes, one degree, one degree. Obviously, they drew them better than this. Um, we're on video here, Mr. Visser. It's just, just, yep. Um, <laughs> oh, see? This is why I'm so far behind Miss Carr. Um, no matter what they did, with one degree. They went right out all the different size one degree triangles. They said, let's start by dividing this side by this side. Let's start by dividing this side by this side, this side by this side. And they call that the tangent ratio. So whenever I do my opposite by my adjacent, opposite divided by adjacent, whenever it's one degree, always get the same. So that gives me that ratio. And so then they went, well, right, what about this side divided by this side? So the adjacent by the hypotenuse. Every time they got the same answer, that became the ratio. So after a while, they started doing all of those and they went, right, eh? well, let's keep a, keep a record of this. So they went through and did all their triangles. So they had their degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they had sine, cos, tan. So for all the one degree triangles, when they divided the opposite side by the hypotenuse, they got the same answer. And so they wrote that down there. And that became the sine of one. It was that ratio. 
for all the all the one degree triangles, they got the adjacent side and divided by hypotenuse. And it became the same answer each time. That became the cos of one. So when you punch that into your calculator, you are actually bringing up that ratio. So for instance then, as it went down to 30, the sign became 0 0.5. So no matter what, no matter how big the triangle, if it was 30 degrees, it was always 0 0.5. So sine, cos and tan are just ratios. And so what we then do is we're able to use those ratios to figure out the missing side. So for instance, if I have a triangle here and I know that that's 30 degrees and I know that that's 12 and I want to know what that one is. Right? If I were to do my working, I go... Sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Alright, so sine of 30 equals 12 over x. I swap those two around and x equals 12 divided by sine 30. I know what sine 30 is 0 0.5. So basically, I'm finding double 12. Double 12, of course, is 24. So if I punch into my calculator 12 divided by sine 30, I will get 24. But that's the way that we use those ratios to find the missing side and the missing angle. So effectively, in summary, trigonometry are ratios. Sine is the ratio between opposite side and hypotenuse. Cos is the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. <laughs> and tan is the ratio between the opposite side and the adjacent side. And what they figured is with similar triangles where the angles <laughs> angles are the same no matter the size of the triangle the ratios between the sides are always the same we can then use these ratios to determine missing sides or angles. And it's only because we know that the ratio is always going to be the same that we're able to do that. Anyone want to say anything to the camera before you go? No, no one. I uh, like, comment, subscribe, give a shout out to uh, 9B who are in my uh, top three favourite maths classes at the moment. But uh, otherwise, good luck with your exam. Yeah.